Wow, I'm finally doing it. Finally. Living my dream of a stand-up comedian. Hell yeah. Cost me $25 too, that's right people. My dreams are worth $25. You know, my dreams are cheaper than the Uber ride that got me to my dream tonight, you know? When I get home, I'm actually going to check my dream off my to-do list, you know? I got, got the milk, went to the bank, performed stand-up in front of a live audience for the first time. Forgot the toilet paper from CBS. My girlfriend's gonna kill me for that one. Oh yeah. I hope this isn't a nightmare. I was really nervous about coming up on stage. Uh, like hopping up here was gonna make me so nervous, but they had a door. It was really easy. It was nice. I just walked right out. Much safer. My, uh, my mom's a nightmare, you know? She's always trying to set me up with women. It's funny to see who she's trying to set me up with. It tells me a lot about where she thinks I am in life. Like the other day, she tried to set me up with a psychiatrist. <laughs> Crazy, I took the date. She penciled me in. We got pretty deep, you know? She's a great listener. I think we're gonna see her again. It was, it was a pretty good time. It was just during this whole pandemic, I was single and I was living the bachelor life. And I'll just tell you, the bachelor life is nothing like the show The Bachelor. <laughs> it is not. Well, first of all, in my bachelor life, there are no commercials, all right? And the second, there are no girls. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just needed some companionship. I just needed one. So I uh, adopted a dog, really proud of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep going, because I have a timer on this thing, so I gotta keep it going. Um, my dog is the longest, tallest dog you'll ever see. It's actually crazy. She could put her paws up on my shoulder and looks down at me like she's disappointed. She's kind of like, we'll find you a home soon, don't you worry. Yeah. I also uh, lost a lot of weight during the pandemic. Thank you. Lost 50 pounds, 5-0. Right, right? Put on 60. My weight's kind of like the stock market. It goes up and down, up and down, up and I'm like GME. Instead of it's a short squeeze, it's a squeeze in these pants. You know? I hear my brain, it's just saying, eat, eat, eat. My body's just saying, pass, pass, pass. Yeah. That's why I always try to go to the gym. You know, I love the machines at the gym. My favorite's this one machine. It's called the vending machine. Oh, it's great. You don't see me break in a sweat, just a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know, because I'm afraid of diabetes, you know? It's the only thing that literally says, die. Abetes, you know? So... <laughs> They don't sugarcoat it. That's all I'm trying to say here. They really don't sugarcoat that one. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. My grandma, she has dementia, you know? She doesn't really remember much, but she remembers I got fat. I don't, it's, it's crazy. It's like, what year is it? What happened to you? Yeah. And she's actually dead. I'm sorry. And that's not even the one we went through the Holocaust. That grandma, whoo-wee. That's a different type of grandma. She has her best friend. Best friend since the Holocaust. Can you believe that? Having a best friend during the Holocaust? Crazy. I started thinking, that's pretty wild, but then I realized that all my best friends are from Jewish camp, too. Ooh, I know, never forget. Don't forget my name either. It's Eric Mann, you know? All right. I think I got the light bulb. I'm not exactly sure, and I get disqualified if I don't, so... We'll keep it going. <laughs> this, uh, you know, this allergy season's been pretty bad, all right? Not as bad as last season of the Game of Thrones, but it's been pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was just, this is just killing time for me. And, uh, yep, yep, yep. I'm just gonna kill it out here so I don't get disqualified. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> it's a great hat, great mask, great clapping, nice smile. What'd you guys order? Anything good? I'll be there in a couple minutes. There it is, I'll take those flashes. Thank you very much everyone, I'm Eric Mann. Never forget, never forget, thank you.